The vision of the Center for Math Education at the University of Maryland is about a future where there's greater access to opportunities to do mathematical work for a wider range of people. For too long, the universities have had walls around it, and so I feel that we have a strong commitment of going out and really reaching and taking the community as a central decision maker on what are the programs, what are the research agendas that are going to create change and are meaningful for the community. Part of what we've been trying to do with the center is be attentive to the situations around us, to what things are like in local schools, and to offer through the center a range of programs, initiatives, activities, research projects, degree programs, that allow schools, teachers, local communities to find resources. The Together Math Project, or Juntos as we call it, um, is, a, is a partnership program that merges professional learning with community solidarity. Our work is built on the idea that multilingual students bring unique assets to the classroom. And so if you think about it, multilingual students are used to navigating multiple languages and mathematics is another language. And so if we are able to have uh, classrooms that welcome mathematics as a language, then they are able to participate in this way. For over a year, parents and teachers have sat together as co-designers and as partners, as experts in children's mathematics education to work towards the goals that they have. Together Math is a project that really shows who we truly are as a family. It reaches every student. Um, we can reach our students that are uh, multilingual learners. We can reach students with special needs. We can reach students that are talented and gifted. So no matter the way that they learn, we can still reach them through this program. As we look forward to doing more with the parents, parent learning walks and things of that nature, you know, as a result of this program, I think it's only going to get better. We're working on a grant that focuses on how to help teachers attend to children's translanguaging in the classroom. We really want teachers to pay attention to how they express their ideas, not just verbally, but through gesture, action. And so our current work is collecting student thinking interviews and uh, designing professional development so teachers can learn to attend to this wealth of resources that children bring in. Another project of ours that's looking to make math more accessible is Mathletics. Mathletics is a program that consists of a summer camp, three week summer camp, and also Saturdays that we engage middle school age youth in and around sports data analytics. The youth engage in collecting data on their own sports performance, they go on field trips, we take them to WNBA games, uh, we engage them with UMD Athletics sports data analysts as well as Coppin State sports data analysts to really learn how to apply basic elementary statistical concepts uh, to sports data and uh, in the sports context. We often hear from the students that you know, they, they're not crazy about math, but once they're in the camp, they begin to realize that this is not like school. They say that a lot, and they get excited around applying the concepts that they're learning in a space that they really enjoy. Working within the community versus coming into a community from the outside has a lot of advantages. Being situated near so many school districts is great. It's not like I'm just doing research in my office or in my space, but um, I get to actually go into the schools and work with teachers and teacher educators. Many universities, each faculty member creates their own lab and their own team, and those teams or labs compete. So rather than competing, as we each do different things, with the same school district, it means that each initiative on its own can have more power and that our long-term relationship with those school districts somehow maybe lowers the wall between the university and the outside communities. The Center for Method, the community is super important. 
that's what's kept me at the University of Maryland. I think it's what attracts graduate students and keeps them engaged. And it's really unique nationally, I think. For me and some of my colleagues, we're also really interested in, in recruiting teachers who are going to stay. So math teachers, not just who are super bright at math, but who also are committed to staying in local schools, understand how to connect with Black and Latinx and kids of color, but also sort of lower income kids, things like that. I do find myself as being this bridge of language and culture, but being in a safe space because I'm encouraged to do so. I'm encouraged to have that part of myself being in both academic settings and community settings, but also just be my authentic self at all times. I felt like it was always having to compromise, like, you know, you speak Spanish at home, you come to school, you learn the English, but it's never been those two things at once. And I'm so happy that I, here in Maryland, I can do that. I think one of the reasons it feels so close is that so many of us are former teachers, and that's a very leveling thing. It's sort of like, even though, you know, I may be in class with a, some super prestigious professor that is tenured and whatnot, like, they were also a math teacher, just like me. And we have that common bond, and I think all the faculty at the center, they all, they have that groundedness of, of being a teacher, and it, it, it just, it lets you talk to them in ways that you might not with, with, with other faculty. The future of math education or how we can change it, it feels that is a math education that welcomes a whole human beings and a wide range of people, different perspective with different resources, with different assets. And so if we can have a math education that is welcoming to um, everybody, then it is gonna look very different.